Today we're going to do a teardown on one of those uh, pendants that a uh, senior would wear so that if they fall, it'll call for help or it has a help button on it. This one's based on cellular technology and um, has GPS in it to pinpoint their location. This one's from a competitor and it's dead and I was told to toss it out so we're tearing it down. So this is a Numera Libris uh, personal health monitor and for the guys at work that might see this, no, this is not one from work. This is one from another company. So I was uh, sent out on a job today to swap this out because this one broke down and it's from a competitor's company. So uh, client says, can you recycle this for me? Okay, no problem. I'll recycle it, get them the new one. What this is, is this is a, a, a fall alert and, and personal help button. And the, uh, it usually, it's used by seniors or people that uh, may have some medical problems and if they need help, they can press a button on it. And this one here doesn't work anymore, it's dead. Um, but they can press a button or if they fall, uh, they can. it will automatically make a call. And it basically has a small cell phone built into it. I thought this might be kind of cool before I send this thing off to be shredded if we just take it apart and see exactly what's inside it. So let's, uh, let's get into the security screws here. So all the screws out and it just opens up like that. So there'll be a shock sensor in here and a battery of some type. And a SIM card. It's got a small SIM card in here. This is what allows it to communicate with the cellular network. So I say this one is dead. So And the antenna, the antenna's in the front there. We'll just disconnect the antenna. And there's the SIM card. Looks like a Rogers SIM card. And that's the unit itself. It has a 800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack. Plugs into the board there. And it's just stuck down with double sided tape, it looks like. Yeah. Quite a simple little unit. It's going to have inside here, it's going to have a fall detector to detect if someone falls. And of course, the button press that's probably all on the front here. In fact, that's probably what's inside here is uh, here's the lights that make it light up. And it's got the one button that you press down for help. It's got some LEDs at the top that makes the top uh, light blink red, green, and blue. And uh, same with this one. So there's red, green, blue RGB LEDs here on the four sides as well as two to light up the front. And in all likelihood, the antenna is on the back here. There's the antenna. And the charging pins connect through the outside world. Now these things are supposed to be waterproof. Is there a seal? Oh yes, they've got a seal. They've got it, the speaker is sealed, and where's the microphone? Microphone is um, in the base here, it looks like. Or is that the microphone here? Uh, this is probably the microphone right here. These contacts in the base connect to this. And this is just basically a, a cell phone that's programmed to dial a specific number and connect to the monitoring station. 
and that number that they would dial would be programmed into the unit when it was manufactured. So the different the different um, the different providers of these services would have a different monitoring station. Anyway, to say this one was uh, dead and deactivated. So um, now this is probably the GPS module here. I'm thinking this is probably the GPS antenna and the GPS module. Or either that or this one is one of the two. This is I think this is probably the cellular antenna here. And the GPS is on this other one over here. These have GPS on them, right? So what uh, when they're used as they're designed, person carries them with them, and it has a shock sensor so that if the person falls or if they press the panic button on the front here, it will locate them with the built-in GPS and send a signal to the monitoring station to tell the monitoring station where they are. So that way help can get sent. I'd say these are normally worn by seniors. And this one died. So. That's what's inside one of these uh, Numera Libris uh, fall detectors, personal health monitor, personal health detector. So maybe we'll, we'll take this down a little more in depth and see what's in it. This top just, just looks like this cover is snapped on, but it doesn't want to pop off, so maybe it's soldered down. Yeah, it is. But we're going to see what's under there. A couple chips underneath here. So this is the top board, here's the LEDs again. And the back side of the board. And the main board here, let's just pop the, the shield off of this thing, the plastic get the board out itself so we can see what's going on on the board oh you know what this might be the antenna here this is probably the GPS antenna one of these this one one of these antennas is the cellular antenna the other one's gonna be the GPS this is probably the GPS antenna here you can see it's got another connector right down here so I bet you this is the GPS chipset It's one of the two, either the GPS antenna is plugged onto here and it's the one that's in the back, that one, or it's this one here. It's probably this one, it's the GPS antenna. Well, 
we'll pop the cover off of this uh, this IC and see what's in there. I think this is probably the GPS because the SIM card being down here, this is probably the cellular portion of it down on this portion of the of the chassis. This is the location one here, I'm thinking. It's interesting that there's two antenna connectors here. One there and one there. But there was only one antenna connected. Well, if it worked before, it'll never work now, right? No, this thing was dead. It would not power up. Well, I guess we can say that this has been securely disposed of now. Here's a Qualcomm QSC sixty two seventy. So this is a this is actually the, the phone part of it. Yeah, Qualcomm is this is a CDMA um, type chip for WCDM wideband CDMA and GSM GPRS uh, Edge. This is the this is actually the radio module. This this one's the radio module. So that antenna that's on the side here this one is going to be the cellular antenna because that's plugged right into this module so this is the cellular module here so that would mean that this other antenna that's in the base of it here this one's going to be the GPS antenna that attached down to the bottom of this board here See, I assumed that the cellular stuff would have been in here because where the you know the SIM card was, but it uh, doesn't look like that. It looks like the uh, the GPS is probably down on this side of it. Quite a bit of stuff in here. All likelihood it's probably this chip here. I'll look up the number and see what it is once we get into this thing and dissect it a little more. Okay, this is an MPU 6050. This is an accelerometer. This is going to be the fall detector, this device here. So this detects if someone's falling and uh, will trigger the alarm. That's the fall detector. What other uh, interesting chips are inside this thing here? Okay, this I see here looks like the LED driver for the LEDs on the side of the board.
looking up the number for it. My eagles are back. Oh well, enough time wasted on this. Okay, that's it. It's all torn down. It's not going back together. It's going for recycling. In the bin. Thanks for watching.